well, long overdue for a fashion revolution. I'm very interested in, you know, kind of provenance of clothing. Just caring about, you know, where your clothes are made is important and that's really the message behind Fashion Revolution. It's become very normal with food to, to care about where it's from and what we're eating. And I think this should definitely translate to also what you're wearing. We trust that brands and high street retailers are making clothes and fashion ethically and they're not always. There are things going on that shouldn't be. We want to encourage chains and maybe go with our feet a little bit and sort of say we want to know where our clothes come from and if you're not going to fix your supply chains or if you're not going to ensure that your clothes are made under ethical standards then you know, you're not going to buy them. We're here inviting people to come in and experience what ethical fashion really means and try to rebrand that concept as something that is fashionable, fun and easy to get involved with. I'm kind of joining in by encouraging people to do the inside out thing which has been a huge success. I believe it's already trending on Twitter and then I'm down here at Designer Jumbles kind of doing what I do best which is sort of laying around with clothes. Um, and they've got such a, an amazing selection of stuff here. I think it's great to have another choice, especially in this environment of everything being new. This is so great to have things that are old and individual. I just really want people to look after their clothes and think about them and, and care for them. I think what you could do is get rid of your old clothes so somebody else could love them and they have a new life and be recycled. You can love a jumper or a top or a jacket and you can love it for like five, ten years the rest of your life. It's not kind of so trend driven. Don't just buy something and see it as disposable but just think about the work that went into it. It doesn't need to be so much this kind of really, really, really quick pace which I think leads to the fact that there are these awful conditions because the turnaround and everything has just got to be kind of pumped out. about kind of um, suddenly stop buying anything new. I think it's about looking at fashion slightly differently. I hope that people just shop more consciously and kind of think before they buy something. If you see something and you, do you want that? If you need that in your life, like are you gonna wear it? Is it, is it worth it? Why is this so cheap? How did our clothes get so cheap? And just start to question what's really going on. People tend to complain that clothes are too expensive and they want it as cheap as they can get it, but that comes at a price. The Rana Plaza factory disaster that happened a year ago needs to stay in our memories. We need to start realising what that price is. The only way to do that really is by harnessing the vocal power of people who are shopping. If you're an existing customer of a high street chain, you should start asking them questions through Twitter, through Instagram, through Facebook, or even in stores. What we're saying is start sending that question to the retailers that they shop from now, who made my clothes? Saying, where is this made? Can you ensure that this was made under good working conditions? Just ask that question. The more they ask the question, the more the retailers will understand that they need to have answers to that question. I think the consumer is, um, is the powerful one here. It's in their power to do something, to change the way that fashion is not only perceived, but how fashion polices itself. I think a lot of small steps could make a really, really huge change. I feel like our trust has been exploited and we need a day like today to tell them that we realise what's going on and that we're not happy about it. Those stores will listen to customers. It's bad business for them to ignore their consumer. Because I think they take for granted that we don't care, but we do.